Do you miss your old world? Pity. There is no going back. Not after you dare to defy me. Out of the way. I'm ready for more orders. My wish has finally come true. I suppose I should thank you, Divine One. This world will fall, and it is all because of you. You're right. All of this happened because I came here. And by removing the ward on the final bracelet, I may have doomed this place for good. But I was summoned here to save you. As long as there's hope for that, I won't give up. I require no saving. It is enough for me to watch you die, knowing you destroyed this world. I'm not here for the world. I'm here for the people in it. I'm here because someone wished for your salvation. Even if it meant the world would end. Don't you see? There are people who love you. If I have to defeat you to make that clear, I will. 
I will do what I must. will put you to rest. Here goes. Your struggle has had an end. is one.
Great help. Your form reminds me of Sombron. I suppose this must be how it felt for you, watching me transform. Spare me your pity and presumptions. You were born with everything. We are not the same. You will never understand me, not even if you have thousands of years to contemplate. Our time together as twins was a far shorter interval than that. And yet, it was more than enough time for me to learn how much I care about you. Do not do this, Nil. Do not return things to the way they were with Sombron. Please. I cannot bear the thought of losing you.
feel my courage growing. No hesitation. Emblem Eternal! Behold and tremble in fear, Celestia. This is the might of a true dragon. Lord Nil, as a fellow dragon, I must admit that form is impressive. But while you won't require anyone's help this way, you will come to feel isolated in time. Having no one by your side is not as liberating as you might think. You can still reconsider. I feel nothing of the sort. Perhaps it is you who is lonely. For want of your lost wind, I will gladly send you after him. Mavir, you fool. I was willing to die there with you. But still, thank you. I'll use this gift well. It's because of what you did that I have the will to face you. You won't take anything else. Let's begin.
I am defeated? This cannot be! Father! Father! The bracelets... Where did they go? They disperse when their duty is done. Then I guess this is goodbye. Why? Why? Even with the power of the bracelets, why am I no match for you? Perhaps you see it now. The path Sombron laid out for you was never the right one. If I cannot carry out Father's wishes, then my existence serves no purpose. All my life I have sought to be valued, only to discover that I am truly worthless. I will never be like you. You are not worthless. You are my irreplaceable twin brother. We are two halves of a whole. Ridiculous. I already told you I am not Nil. I know. Not Nil? What does that mean? I don't understand. What happened to the real Nil? He died in battle a thousand years ago. Shortly after Nell gave him her dragon stone, he wanted nothing more than to make his sister proud. And who are you? A fell dragon whose twin perished when I was too young to remember it. I was a lone child, with no abilities to distinguish me, surrounded by pairs of twins, until I met Nil. My mirror image. The resemblance between us was uncanny, and we discovered we had much else in common. We were inseparable for a time, and I was all too happy to have something like a real brother. He was my other half. <sighs> that was how I felt, at least. But for him, there could be no replacement for Nell. When I found him, on the battlefield, breathing his last, his only thoughts were of her. He gave me her Dragonstone, and said that he wished Nell would never have to grieve. For that reason, he asked me to take his place. So you became Nell. I made it appear as if I had been the one to die that day. In a way, I was. There would be no one to mourn my passing. Father would not even notice. I'm having trouble believing all of this. Believe it. I am an imposter. You should not hesitate to kill me. I brought this world to the brink of ruin. If you allow me to live, I will do it again. Let that be your reason, if nothing else. What say you, Nell? I knew you were not Nell from the start. What? I have known about his death for a long time. I saw through your ruse from the beginning. I simply chose not to confront you about it. You took his place for his sake, and for mine. That was an act of kindness. We may not have been born as twins. But I have always thought of you as my other half. Then... You are a fool! Say what you will. I speak the truth. You will recall how we visited the burial site at Lethos Castle to say our farewells. You may not have seen that I left a pressed flower there. It was Nils. I was not saying goodbye only to the Divine Dragon that day. You were saying it to Nil, too. I carried that flower for a long time. I suppose some part of me was unable to move on. Despite that, you became very dear to me. Your companionship saved me from loneliness and despair. I was happy to be a sister to you. I will always cherish our time together. Even if you do not feel the same, without you, I would never have been able to continue fighting all this time. I trusted you above all others. Believed in you with all my heart. The only proof that we are not true twins is that I failed to sense your actual intentions. Perhaps. I confess, I have longed to hear you say such things. They make fine parting words. Are you ready? Yes. Thank you. For everything. Goodbye, Nell. Goodbye. Stop. What are you doing? Nell? There is another way to end your pain. Once I am gone, you will be free. <laughs> For my part, I would rather die than lose anyone else. N 
now. If only I had realized sooner. I could have prevented this. Seeing Nil and my divine dragon again. Maybe too much to hope for. But even so, I will rest well knowing your pain is at an end. Why would you do this? I deserve this fate, not you. You should have killed me. I could not bear to lose a second brother. For that is what you are to me, despite it all. Before I go, will you tell me your name? Lady Nell! No! Please, no! She's... she's gone. No last words of reproach. No regret for her own passing. All she wanted was to know my name. <laughs> Rafal, sister. My name is Rafal. Rafal, how did I forget myself? Nil asked me to look after his sister. That was his dying wish. But it was not merely his wish. It was also mine. All I wanted, all I really wanted, was to be her other half. When did I forget those feelings? You said this would be the end of my pain, Nell. But it is not. How could it ever be? I sense something. The Dragonstone pieces, they have a strange energy about them. That is Sombron's magic. Could it be that he cast a spell on that Dragonstone? To sow the seeds of hatred in the heart of Lord Nil, uh, Rafal. Dragonstones are destroyed by the death of their owner. Lady Nell died to break the spell. Sombron made it so that you two would fight each other instead of conspiring against him. Nonsense. You mean to say that it was just some spell? That all should be forgiven? Ridiculous! Regardless of Sombron's influence, I am responsible for my own actions. I chose to do what I did. It was what I wanted. I will not allow anyone else to shoulder my blame. Not even Father. <laughs> I sought power and I attained it. Even now, I have no regrets about that. I only wish that I could have kept the promise I made to know. <sighs> Divine One. What is it? I have heard that dragons of great power can impart their life force unto others. Do you suppose that is true? Yes. My mother did that for me. But it took a thousand years before I woke up. Then I will do the same. I will revive now. Even if it takes me just as long, I will dwell in this empty world alone. In the hope that she will one day rise. Perhaps that will be a fitting punishment for what I have done. And perhaps, if and when you wake, we may truly become two halves of a whole. You will. No. You already are. Is that so, Rafal? After Nell wakes up, why don't you come live with me and my Elios? What? I have a feeling you'd be able to travel there from here in the Somnia. It's hard to explain, but I can sense my world right now. It feels... closer. Yes. It would seem that a path to other worlds lies open. Perhaps it is due to the bracelets. I did wish to grant my father's desire, if the conquest of other worlds was part of his plan. But I believe it is as you said. It should be possible to move between worlds from here. Then I'll grant you both my protection so you can travel there, when you're ready. The Somniel can't be entered without my blessing as a divine dragon. So come find me. That invitation is open, however long it takes for you to accept it. You would make an ally of the one who so recently tried to kill you? If you are asking me here and now, then my answer is certainly no. That said, a thousand years is a long time. I will say this. If, by some miracle, Nell awakens, and finds it in her heart to forgive me. Then, and only then, will I journey to you. 
I understand. Now, there is nothing more to say. Leave me. As you wish. I hope to see you again, though. Lord Rafal? Yes? Despite all that's happened, I am grateful for the time we shared. I hope that we'll meet as allies again. Your kindness is wasted on me. Here we are, back at Lethos Castle. It feels as if we've been gone for ages. So much has happened since I first met Nell and Nil here. The kings and queens, the emblems, they're all gone. Yes, and Mavir too. <sighs> what should we do now? Beats me. Every nation's lost its rulers, and probably their whole populations by now. I guess we could try to rebuild, or each grab an empty throne and call ourselves rulers. Rulers with no subjects. I fear we have little to do but bide our time until... the end. What if you came with me? Divine One? This world is beyond saving. You said it yourselves. There's no one left. I'm just a visitor. I have to go back before long. But if I leave you behind, I can't even be sure how long you'll survive. It would mean throwing yourselves into battle again. But still, I hope you'll consider it. Sounds pretty good to me. Better than twiddling our thumbs to the grave, at least. I say we go. A new world might mean scary new enemies and dangers. But still... It's an appealing proposal, but... I'm not sure. I wonder what Mavier would say. Would he forgive us? What do you mean? We are his family, and if we go, he'll be left here all alone. It doesn't seem fair. Why should we be the lucky ones? Why do we deserve this? Deserve what? To be happy? Madeline, what's the last thing that the big guy, that Mavir, said to you? He said he wished me the greatest happiness. There you have it. He'd probably tell you to look forward, not back. Even if it means leaving him behind. You don't get to speak for him. You didn't know him like I did. I knew him pretty darn well. We spent a ton of time together. We were practically brothers. Anyway, you gotta admit, he wouldn't want you sulking forever. <sighs> I know. Mavir would tell me to go. To try and be happy without him. <laughs> Go ahead and cry, Madeline. There hasn't been time to mourn him since... it happened. I'm sorry. You were born into this world, and I'm asking you to put it behind you. But if it makes any difference, I spoke to Rafal. He's planning to come as well. One day, you could wait for him with me. Divine One, I share Madeline's struggle. It feels wrong to be the only ones going, to leave our lord and lady behind. I understand. But, instead of languishing here, we could go to a world where our skills can be of use. And after everything that's happened, I find it difficult to turn down your request. We have been through so much together. Yes, we have. I'm inclined to go. Do the two of you feel the same? Yep. I agree. Then from now on, the remaining winds will swear our loyalty to you as your attendants. We will go with you, Divine One. I'm glad. I look forward to spending more time with all of you. The feeling is mutual. All right. Remember, you two. We have to work hard as the Four Winds, even in another world. What? We're not calling ourselves the Three Winds now? You knew the answer before you even asked. We four are a family, and we'll always be together. Nothing can change that. All right, everyone. Let's go. Nell, Rafal, I'll see you again someday. Thank you, my fellow Divine Dragon. I pray your future is filled with hope and love and... Please, take good care of them for me.
They're so beautiful today. That bright blue sky feels like a good omen. I could not agree more. Huh? Nell! Rafal! I didn't expect to see you so soon. It has been some time, Divine One. For me, it has been a thousand years. But Nell has returned, and we have come as promised. My sister and I are at your disposal. Welcome to you both. It really is a lovely morning. 